العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله كيف؟ What surah did we talk about last Sunday? Adam? Surah? No, we finished Surah Ikhlas. We're talking about another surah. Moise? Surah Al Kawthar. Abdullahi, can you read it for us? Surah Al Kawthar? Very good. And what did we mention about the surah so far? Why did it come down, Sabrine? What was the reason behind the revelation of this surah? Because Prophet Muhammad he lost his son, and then like everyone was scared and then forgot what they were calling him, but they were calling him names, and then Allah was telling him that he was going to be called. Right. So after the death of our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's son, the people of Mecca they started to what? Celebrate that he lost his son and they started to call him Abtar. Like, you know, Abtar is like the same word that comes from when a cat or a dog lost its what? Lost its tail. So they're saying that the Prophet's not going to have anyone to carry his name when he passes away. And when he dies, he's going to be what? Forgotten. And we know how painful it is, right? For a parent to bury their, their own child. So Allah from the seven heavens came down and gave him this surah. The shortest surah in the Quran, about 10 words, but a very heavy surah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he started off by telling the Prophet, they're saying you don't have a son, they're making fun of you, then Allah is going to calm him down and saying, Inna a'tainaka al -kawthar. We have given you and we have granted you al kawthar Now, we talked about the we here, inna. Does this mean that there's more than one Allah? No. Okay, Sumay, can you explain that, that to us then? Because it says, we have granted you, O Prophet, al kawthar What is this we? For sure, like, the truth Yes, for emphasis, for tawqeed, verily, indeed. Yes. But what about the we part? Good. For what? <coughs> for what did you say, Samir? Respect. Respect and for <coughs> dignity. dignity and honor, right? Is the uh, the is the plural is being used not to show numbers, but to show what Respect. honor and dignity, right? As the scholars they say, this we is not laysa taadud walakin taadim. It's not to make it plural that there's more than one Allah who's given the prophet this, but the we is for honor. Just like the queen in, in Elizabeth, when she writes something, what does she say? <coughs> we. She starts off the paper with we, but only one person. That's right. But she's saying we to show her, to show out her position and the title that she has. So Allah is saying, we, O Prophet, have given you. Allah is using the past tense. You know the past tense? Allah, why is, what's the wisdom behind this? That Allah is telling the Prophet, we have given you already. But did he, does, does the Prophet have the culture in this dunya? No. No, he hasn't gotten the culture. But the, Allah says, we already give you. So what does that, why is, what's the wisdom? Good. As if to show that Allah's son, the Prophet, is promised and is guaranteed. Right? Like Muhammad, when you tell your manager at work, and he tells you, can you do this for me? And you say, yeah, don't worry, it's a done deal. But you didn't even do the project. But you tell him it's a what? Done. done deal. Why? To show him that what? Sure You're going to do it no matter what. Even if you have to stay up late. Even if you have to, you know, skip lunch and dinner. That you, You're going to get it done. So Allah is telling our Prophet, we. He's telling him, no doubt, indeed. Don't have any doubt about this. And then Allah is telling him in the past tense, أَعْطَيْنَاكَ Giving you, meaning it's already there for you. Al Kawthar. Now, Al Kawthar, this word comes from the word Kathir. What does Kathir mean? A lot. A lot. Look, it's so interesting, right? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He uses the word a lot in the shortest surah in the Quran. The shortest surah in terms of words, 10 words. And the shortest surah in terms of what? Verses. How many verses? 
three verses. Allah is using the word kathir. And kawthar is not only kathir, is the highest form of kathir. Meaning that what? Is so much. There's no limit. And Allah, our Prophet, we have given you a lot. And the English word, you cannot really give it a good translation. But when we say a lot, it means like so, 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 so many. Abundant, not unlimited of goodness. Now, the scholars, they say, what is this al kawthar Well, the Prophet, he explained it himself. Because he asked the companions, what? What is the what? al kawthar He asked the companions, do you guys know what is al kawthar And they said to the Prophet, No, Allah and His Messenger know best. Can you tell us? Then the Prophet وسلم, told them, al kawthar is a river Rabbi that Allah has given me. And it's what? It's inside Jannah for the Prophet وسلم, And it will reach outside of Jannah, the Hawb. And the believers, on the Day of Judgment, they will see the Prophet standing in front of a pond. And they will run to the Prophet. And then the Prophet will embrace them, and they will drink from this pond. But also some other people, when they see the Prophet, and he's standing in front of this pond, they will run into him, and the angels will grab them. And then the Prophet who cares about you and me more than our mothers. You know the Prophet? He is so merciful and he wants everyone to be guided. And he cares about us all the time. Allah is telling the Prophet, perhaps you may kill yourself just thinking about them. And he is the most merciful. He is a mercy that was sent from Allah to us. So, he's going to tell the angels, why? Why are you holding them back? They're for my ummah. And then the angel will say to the Prophet, you don't know what they did after you, O Prophet. These people after you, they did some really evil and bad things. And then the Prophet will say, what did they do? And then the angels will say, they have added, added something to your religion. You know, they, they did something called innovation. And in Arabic it's called what? Bid'ah. That you add something to the religion. Something that was not part of the religion. Sabrina, what do you do? You add and you say it's part of the religion. Or you subtract something from the religion. Something that was there. You take away from it and you say, no, it's not important. And another narration, the Prophet said, He's telling us the angels will also hold back the people who help other people do bad things. Someone is doing evil. Someone is oppressing somebody. And you are helping them in that. And you are supporting them. Rather than advising them, reminding them, hey, that's bad. Rather than saying, okay, if you're going to do it, I'm not going to get involved. I'm not going to help you in any way. If you are helping somebody, like somebody is making fun of another person, and you're always laughing for him so hard. Because what is that going to do? That's going to what? Encourage. Encouraging him to do more. So we should be careful. And al kawthar is it only that? Is it only this river that Allah gave in the Prophet? No. no. al kawthar is everything good that Allah has given the Prophet. What are some examples of that? The Qur'an. So, uh, Sumaya, the Quran, the best book that was sent down. Do you know all the prophets that had they had a book from Allah, but this book was not preserved. After the prophet passed away, it was changed. Some people added, some people subtracted, so much that they couldn't even go back to the original book. But what? But what's special about the Quran? Will it ever be changed? No. Because Allah promised to what? 
to protect it and to preserve it. Imagine if all the Quran disappeared overnight. No problem. We could go to this masjid and that masjid, call a hafiz and grab a book and tell them to what? Read. And we're going to what? Produce a book right away. So this is the Quran. So also another blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the amount of followers. Is the amount of what? Followers. You know on the day of judgment who will have the most followers? Who will have the most followers, Sabreen? Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. From the blessing that Allah has given our Prophet, who will be the first one to enter Jannah? Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah made him to be the final what? The final messenger. So Allah has given our Prophet so many what? Blessing. So Allah is reminding our Prophet, yes, your son passed away. And yes, they're making fun of you of that. But remember what? Remember the blessings that you have. Remember the great blessing Allah has given you already and the blessing that He will give you what? Later on. Then the next ayah says what? Abdullah, what's the next ayah? Fasalli. Now, Sarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling our Prophet, we have given you this great blessing of Al Kawthar. So, when Allah gives you a blessing, what should we do, Muhammad? What should, huh? What should we do when Allah gives us a blessing? We should thank Him. And what is the best way of thanking Allah? Prayer. Worshiping Him. And what is, what, what is one of the best worship? Prayer. Salah, prayer. So Allah is telling our Prophet, we have given you this, so be thankful by doing what? Worship. By praying. And you know prayer is the best act that our body can do. Right? Yeah. Why in it you have, the, the heart is with Allah. You have khushur. You are reading the Quran. You are making sujood. Look, the most humbling position. You're putting your, for, you're putting your face where? On the ground. For who? For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you're being thankful, uh, Sabrine, is it enough only to say with your tongue? To say, oh, Allah gives you this, a new house, a new car. Should you say, oh, alhamdulillah, and that's it? No, you should do it with action. اعملوا آل داوود شكرا Do for the people of Dawood شكر Do with action So you should do with, with our what? With our action By praying By asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us ear. Okay, what's the benefit of doing this? What's the benefit of when, when, you have a good, when you have a good blessing And you are thankful to Allah What will come out of this? Allah will what? will reward you and increase it for you too and give you more, more of those blessings. But what if you do the opposite? What if Allah gives you blessings and you don't say thank you even? Yes. Then Allah is gonna what? Take this blessing away from it from you. Or you will not enjoy it as as much. Allah says, Wala in shakartum la azidanakum. If you are thankful, I will increase for you. And we learn from the surah, Allah is telling the Prophet, we've given you this special treatment, we've given you kawthar, we have not given anyone else. So because of this, pray. Fasalli, who should we pray for? Fasalli li rabbika. You should pray to your Lord. Not like the other people who pray for other things, who pray to an idol, who pray to a grave, who pray to show off. No, Allah is saying what? Pray to who? To Allah. To Allah. فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ And then what should you do? One har. And one har is what? You should slaughter. You know when you slaughter something for, for Allah? Like a camel. Or, 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 or a cow or a sheep or a goat. Allah is telling our Prophet Wasallam, Pray. And also one har. And a slaughter for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now Hamza. Look here we have. Two acts of worship. Allah is telling our Prophet to pray. And we know prayer is what? Action, right? With your what? 
body and also with your heart and with your tongue. What about one heart when you slaughter? This is with your money, right? You have to go buy the we have to go buy the camel too. It's a, so Allah is telling Prophet Sallam, be thankful by praying to me and also be thankful to me by being good to the people. Because when you slaughter, who are you gonna give this food to? To the people. So Sumaya, Allah is saying be good to Allah and also be good to the what? The people. You have to be kind to the people. Is it enough, Sabrine? That you're only good to Allah and you're bad to the people? Or is it good that you're only good to the people, but bad to Allah? No. You have to do both, right? You have to be equal. You have to take care of Allah, right, first. And then you should also, what, be good to them. If they need help, you should help them. If you cannot, if you cannot help them, at least try to call people that you know that may be able to help them. If you cannot do that, at least make dua for them. But you should not, what, harm them. You should not bring any harm, harm to them. And then, inshallah, next class we will take the last ayah in Nashani Aka. Huwal Abtar.